Okay. Somebody was asking for a walk around on the caboose. One of the first things we did was change the pole so the horses don't have to carry much on their neck. Just this short piece. It's a, I believe a John Deere wagon. Somebody repainted white one time or another. I think they were using it for a scaffolding project or something. The caboose <coughs> the self was made out of salvage material. About the only new stuff is some of the 2x4's frame and the tin on the roof. All the other tin work and all that's all salvage. <coughs> it's got a short deck at the back. All sorts of lighting. Step up the back. The back door. Air conditioner. Little sign. <coughs> Caution horses. Smile here on camera. Freddy. Freddy, buddy. Fred, stop barking, please. Then we got <coughs> tail lights. The step. <coughs> when we're using it lots, <coughs> we stock the fridge. So we keep it plugged in. So that the fridge keeps all our supplies cool. Yeah, anyway, this is the <coughs> generator washroom area. There's back the air conditioner. We got a propane tank for the stove. Bunch of firewood. We got a full down bed. It's covered in stuff. There's our stove. This is out of a camper trailer. Or a tent trailer that buggered up. That's a homemade aluminum cooler that the neighbor gave me. We have a fridge, microwave, and a radio, plexiglass windows, the wood stove. And then the front setup. So you can drive with the top half of the door open, top half of the door closed, just and that's standing up. Or you can sit down over here and put your hands through there. We got a rear view camera, mirrors, that's our power center. We can turn off all our stuff, charge your cell phones. It's got a from over four mat, helps keep your feet warm. Anyway, that's uh, we're planning on putting a skylight, and that's uh, <coughs> lighting and stuff in here. Works pretty good. Anyway, that's the HDRV caboose. Brian.